Mbote. Hi, I'm Rama, and it is with Zola that I continue with you this series, the Bumuntu. Do you know what is the astral? It is useful to grasp this at this point. Longin Swadi, founder of the Kimuntu School of Initiation, addressed this topic in the Nza Jakinanza, the astral world, where he explains how this works. So for more details on this, I invite you to visit the Kimuntu School of Initiation website and to discover these wonderful quarters. They are wonderful. All right, together today, we are going to connect with an ancient wisdom, which allowed our great ancestors to build bodies, to be able to have organs. Mm -hmm, you heard me, organs. Well, get this, we knew how to recognize those who had capabilities. If someone tells me, for instance, that he or she will develop certain abilities, or that he or she has certain capabilities, or that he or she has a certain stability, for example, as a person in the know, well, I smile, because I only know one thing, that for certain capabilities to be available, that in order to have certain abilities, one needs to have within himself or herself, deep within himself or herself, the right organs. Love, for instance, or Zola in Kikongo language, is an organ. Of course, an etheric organ, intangible from the energetic world, yet still an organ. Rigor is an organ too. When you don't have it, well, you don't. You will have to grow it. You'll have to manifest it. And so you have to download it. So I'm of those who believe that to speak about certain things, one must first vibrate at the level of frequency of the things they talk about. There are people on earth with a deficit of organs. For instance, let's, to, let's take the example of people without stability in their lives, for example. They have no women or men in their life. And instead of taking the time to learn about that situation so that they can better manage their own sentimental life, to model the behavior, they take it upon themselves to teach and try to advise others about their love lives. Well, the truth is, you cannot give what you do not have. Yep, that means that all the people who connect with this energy that we refer to as a signpost at the Kimuntu School of Initiation, mm -hmm, you heard me, signpost, because with this energy, one can point to the direction of the airport without ever having been there. Well, all those who connect to this energy of teaching and advising and talking about things they've never known or never experienced, instead of focusing on themselves first, well, they have the probability of ending up being alone themselves. Let me be a bit more clear so you understand the implication and non-intended consequences of talking about things without experiencing them first. Those who are on the awakening journey like me, via the teachings of the Kimuntu School of Initiations, know this. We know today that when we say it is possible to connect in this very moment to the energy of the Source, well, it is possible to connect to the energy of the Source. Indeed, we cannot talk about what we do not have. Dear Pangi, dear brothers, dear sisters, we have entered into a new generation, a new life, a new phase in the expansion of consciousness. The course I'm sharing with you has been developed by Longin Swadi from the Kimuntu School of Initiation and is inspired by the primordial Congo wisdom. This course is updated with the knowledge and current life mission of Longin Swadi. 
The goal is to share it with everyone, with all the Pangi who want to access their inner self, who want to and aspire to bring to life within themselves organs capable of connecting them with the matrix of their primordial soul. What we call tradition is not just on the mythical plan, in the sense that we sometimes talk about things that don't make sense. No. What we call tradition is this space that allows the Muntu, the human being, to access knowledge that will help him or her build the necessary organs to progress in his or her life on earth, or in his or her connection or communion with the source. Ubuntu or Bumuntu is a state. In fact, remember that Kimuntu is a state that we all must be. Kimuntu is the supramental, the state in which we are connected with the energy of Mama Wandombi, the unique divine consciousness in Kikongo language. That, you know, we who started our awakening journey experimented by the different programs organized everywhere by the Kimuntu School of Initiation. Ma Ma Wandombi, that some try to translate as God, but that's not it. In your language, tell me, how do you refer to this unique divine consciousness? Hmm? Tell me. Take a moment, think. Well, in Senegal, for instance, the Fulanis refer to it as Geno, the eternal who embodies the timeless principle of life. The Jola refer to it as Emite or Ata Emit, the unique God that is associated with the natural phenomenon such as the sky, the rain, and the year. Emite or Ata Emit literally meaning to whom the universe belongs or the master owner of the universe. The Serer refer to it as Hoxen, the supreme being and the creator god of the Serer pantheon. Hoxen is the source of life and everything returns to Hoxen. For the Serer people, Hoxen is the starting point and the end point, the origin and the end. Well, <laughs> funny how we've been taught that our ancestors were pagans, right? How they've been described as people who believed in many gods. Hmm? <laughs> Yet, when you take the time to dig deep and research, you discover how all of our ancestrality converges towards a unique divine source, the one and unique divine consciousness. Dear Pangi, dear brothers, dear sisters, I encourage you to dig deep and to research because our renaissance is tied to this knowledge, to the knowledge and to the understanding our ancestors had of the unique divine consciousness. This is essential. Go dig deep, dear Pangi, dear brothers and dear sisters. Today, I present to you the Bumuntu. What is it? Mm -hmm. We'll go into it in more details as it will take us three years or more. But today, for now, as you understand, we are going, we're not going to focus on those three years. We're going to start with the basics first. All right? The basics. Bumuntu. Bumuntu is the state, the muntu, the human being must reach in order to live in harmony with his environment of incarnation, with himself and with everything around him, others and the environment. The Bumuntu is a set of tools the Muntu must have in order to live in harmony in his living space. However, to access it, you have to access the tools related to the Bumuntu. It is important for the Muntu, human being, to bring to life, in himself or herself, the right organ. Yes, I'm talking about the organ. 
I'm here speaking to you, right? I use speech because I can speak. I have the right organ. Some beings cannot speak to entities, to spirits. They cannot speak. They cannot even see spirits or entities or spiritual guides, even less ancestors, because these beings do not have the organ which enable to perceive. You see, perceive, pierce, see, pierce, to see the invisible or the subtle bridge right in front of us. See, there are people who use their organs, but in the world of matter. And there are other people who use their organs to go into the subtle world. Mm. What we call tradition, our ancestrality, simply teaches us, without exception, that we must all have a state of mind, the Bumuntu. The horizontal connection of all things while the Kimuntu mm -hmm, is the vertical connection of all things. I repeat, the Bumuntu is the horizontal connection of all things and the Kimuntu is the vertical connection of all things. Kimuntu is the relationship between the Muntu and the upper world while the Bumuntu is the relationship between the Muntu and the horizontal world, the world around, to be continued. <laughs> I'm Rama, speaking to you from the land of our ancestors, all the way in Senegal. Listen to the voice of Africa. Jeva Jeff Matondo, and see you next time. Zola.